Yes, I won't take long. I know that you are all tired. Few remarks, few housekeeping remarks, and then one, one last comment. I'm happy first that this closing session has took us back, took us back in a, in a, in a kind of a circle loop to the opening session of Vita and all the remarks which have been made uh, towards by Dr. Zreya and some of the, our participants have, have, I have stressed on the fact that we cannot just in, in, uh, import what others have been doing and we need to contextualize our interventions and our research to the local, uh, to our local uh, context. Okay, uh, the, the other thing which I want to, just a small comment regarding this whole uh, uh, symposium is that I've always heard during these presentations the underlying role of politics and social determinants and public health and the role of, of policies and things like that on, on the health of the population. What I would like to bring back to the audience is the question in an inverted manner. What is our role of, as public health people in politics? Can we do something regarding uh, impacting politics? Can we do something to change the mindset of policy of policy makers? Can we do something to change the mindset of our younger generation that that war and politics and the manner we are dealing it in in, in in our in our region will not lead us to to anywhere? So maybe we have to think now in a, in a different manner. What is our goal as public health people in stopping the war? We need to do something and. Make Maybe we have to be very aggressive regarding this point. So I'm just throwing this back, and maybe this could be our future mission in another symposium. A few housekeeping uh, announcements. First, for those of you who have posters outside, please do claim them. Otherwise, we can we don't know what to do with them. Uh, do do take your posters back. The other thing is that. Note that all these uh, all these sessions have been taped, and we will upload them on our NetPH site, including some some of the pictures taken, so you can take and download some of the pictures. The third thing is that we have our dinner. Okay, the, all of you should have this. For those of you who are, do not have this uh, invitation cards, please please do claim one at the at the desk outside. The third, the fourth thing is. Some of us are interested in attending the 60th anniversary uh, conference, the Faculty of Health Sciences 60th anniversary conference, which is done tomorrow and after tomorrow. This is going to be at the West Hall. All, uh, all of the, the two days will be, will be conducted. The symposium will be conducted at the West Hall. For those of you who do not know exactly where is AUB, please approach me or approach one of five my hours. Our helpers and GAs around will show you exactly where is the faculty, where is the 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 American University of uh, American University of Beirut. It's just few minutes walk from 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 the hotel here. Uh, the last thing, so nine o'clock tomorrow. Uh, I will be sending you a a copy of the of the program. It's a very very rich program. Try to attend some of the sessions if you are available. The last thing are words of thank. Okay, I would like to thank uh, for, first and foremost our organizing and scientific committee members. The members are listed here. They are numerous. I will not spend much time in in in, in uh, calling them all, but I would like to single out three people definitely. For Adwaad is here. He was instrumental with us from the Faculty of Health Sciences. Shahad Zaman is also here, and definitely Peter is the as the scientific coordinator. As, as a matter of fact, in times of uncertainties, when I had very un questions which I'm unaware what to do, I used to go back to Peter to answer, and he would definitely give me certain questions and very assertive questions. And I hope that the decisions made by the steering committee as well as by the organizing and the scientific committee have made this. Uh, uh, symposium enjoyable and engaging and, and enriching for all of us. Thank you all for being here, for being with us for two full days. I thank the moderators, I thank the chairpersons, I thank the participants, the presenters and everyone. And I would like to single out two people who have been with us all through. And I think most of you have seen if they have not met them, at least they have read their names over and over through emails. Anthony, please come here. A big applause to Anthony. <laughs> Lama, Lama, I, I say with confidence.
that these had been the dinner was the silent, si silent, or silent soldiers. And there's a third person who could not be with us. She's our departmental secretary, Ms. Asma. Asma Shahab has been also with me only during the process, doing all the logistical, bureaucratic processes at AUB. I hate to say how much it did. there has been bureaucratic issues, but she has been a great help. She has been the great dynamo behind, behind all of this. And uh, thank you all. And all the GAs who have been running around the, the meeting. Thank you so much, Abla. And before I come to, to, to my thanks, I would just like to say a, a word or two uh, also about um, a symposium that I found has, has, has more than lived up to expect the expectations I had. Uh, it's been an incredibly stimulating occasion, and I feel really privileged to have been part of it. Uh, but I want to... I want to pick up in a way on a, on a point that Huda made and that uh, Kate Hampshire made, and, and in a sense bring us back to Rita's opening presentation. We've had four wonderful keynote presentations, and I'm really grateful to all our keynote speakers. But Rita in the opening one did something very interesting, which was to sort of lay out a, a kind of roadmap ahead. And I think that one of the messages I think that I'd like us as researchers, those of us who are researchers, to take home is to sort of think how we start to actually translate that. Rita threw down a challenge in a sense, but because of the way that Rita does these things, it's not so much a challenge as an invitation to come with her on a journey. And I think it's a, prospectively a really interesting journey. And we can think of it in terms of various words that I jotted down at different points and then extended just now. But um, rather at random, Trends, ambiguity, insecurity, suffering, scale up, context, stories, loss of place, violence, wounds, measurement, and risk factors or measurement tools. And on the face of it, these belong to different traditions of research. But what I think that Rita did so effectively and, and so persuasively was to suggest that these are part of a common practice. And as, as, as researchers engaged in, in an activity that is inherently multidisciplinary, we've got to think how we can link all these things. And so I suppose my, my kind of lasting um, takeaway message, as people now say, is to challenge a mixture of what I think is conceptual inhibition and methodological conservatism, and to, to think critically about our own practices. Because my own experience in MedChamps has been that actually research, and as somebody who's been involved in the, the qualitative side of it, I wouldn't call it ethnographic, but it was ethnographically inspired, the qualitative side of it, it's working against enormous difficulties. And this was before the, um, the you know, events, I hesitate to use the word crisis now, but uh, before 2011, but it was still immensely challenging. And the tendency to kind of shrink before the gold standard of certain yardsticks that are seen as, as it were, the, you know, the, the standards to which we must aspire. When you think, actually, these do not bear any relation to the conditions in which research is done. We've got to, as it were, be stronger about challenging and, and finding ways to, to, to um, make sure that, you, that, that the research is done, because otherwise the, it, otherwise the, the answer is to, to sort of seed, seed ground and basically say you can't do research in certain kinds of contexts. I think it's true that there probably are contexts in which you can't do research, we would all know that, but it's to seed an awful lot of ground because you feel that you don't methodologically measure up. And so I just think that that, that sort of mixture of conceptual innovation and methodological conservatism is something that we must try and challenge. But uh, now I want to come to, to, to my thanks. And, and it is to say that I think that we, we owe, first of all, to all of you here, and all of you have stuck it out on two very long days, so I, I'm, uh, I think that's quite an achievement in itself. And I think part of that is that the, the topics and the variety of approaches and perspectives have just have brought people together in a way that has been 
pr productive. I hope, I hope you found it productive. Real thanks to our four keynote uh, presenters for such wonderful uh, presentations that, that have, have stitched together in the way that we wanted different perspectives and, and different experiences. Thanks also, though, very much to the panel at the end for, for, as it were, adding another dimension to our discussions and for enabling us to have a lively discussion at the end instead of a symposium that kind of just peters out until everyone exhausted wanders off. And I think that's, you know, that, that, that I'm really pleased that we've, we've managed that. And thank you to, the, to, to, to those who have, have uh, um, presented papers in the session and, and moderated the session. But I must particularly thank uh, AUB as our hosts. They've been wonderful uh, in, in sustaining and supporting us in ResCap Med and making this possible. And then within that, like, just like Abner, I want to thank the, the contribution of, of uh, Lama and uh, Anthony and also of Asma behind the scenes. So we really do owe you an enormous debt. But, but Abla, you have now sort of gone away into the corner there. But most of all, you know, we've got to thank you because this would not have happened without you. And you are the one that has held it all together, taken the decisions, uh, shared the decisions, and made it possible. So particularly for Abla, I'd like to have a... a, a And I think on that note we can call it a day. <laughs>